about the U.S. this morning testing an unarmed intercontinental ballistic missile just days after North Korea fired its latest ICBM into the Sea of Japan. Air Force officials say the U.S. test was long planned and not in response to the rogue regime's latest launch. Lucas Tomlinson has more on this from the Pentagon. Lucas? Well, Sandra, it's the fourth long-range missile test for the Air Force this year. The unarmed Minuteman III missile blasted off from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California early this morning and flew over 4,000 miles, hitting a target in the Pacific. Now, unlike North Korea, who fails to warn others before its tests, threatening airliners and shipping, the Air Force says a notice was given before today's launch. There are 400 nuclear missiles at bases in Montana, Wyoming, and North Dakota. Yesterday, the Secretary of State says he hopes for better relations with Pyongyang. And we're trying to convey to the North Koreans, we are not your enemy, we are not your threat, but you are presenting an unacceptable threat to us, and we have to respond. Officials say North Korea still had, has to do a number of things before it can hit the United States, such as one, hit a target, two, have a reentry vehicle survive a trip back to Earth from space, and three, miniaturize a nuclear warhead and place it atop a missile. Now, Sandra, North Korea has had a record setting pace of missile tests, and they, they want to achieve those goals with these tests. Thank All right, you. Lucas Tomlinson, thank you. Uh, Lucas, by the way, North Korea and the U.S. aren't the only ones testing missiles. Who else in Asia, Lucas? Well, Sandra, just one day after North Korea's record-setting ballistic missile test, China fired 20 missiles at mock-ups of American THAAD anti-ballistic missile systems and mock-ups of Air Force F-22 stealth jets. Now, China has long protested. China. Uh, China has long protested the U.S.'s THAAD missile battery in South Korea. China's missile test coincided with Beijing's Army Day, parading 12,000 troops along with dozens of tanks, jets, and missiles, the first time Beijing celebrated this day with a parade. Now, China has the largest army in the world and now has as many destroyers, cruisers, and submarines as the U.S. Navy. And Secretary of State Tillerson says the U.S. and China are at a pivot point in history, one of the reasons that he and Defense Secretary Mattis are on Capitol Hill this afternoon to discuss next steps. All Sandra? Right. Lucas Tomlinson, thank you.